All right, today we have a brand new box of Dominaria. Um, <clears throat> I've dropped the Dominaria a few times. It's been really fun. I love the, I love the, I guess the new mechanics of this set. Um, there's new card stock. I think they use, uh, I believe they use like the Japanese uh, card card stock. So it feels it has a much nicer feel, and also the legendary creatures or legendary one legendary per pack is a really nice touch and i think they did this right in dominaria as compared to kamigawa so let's get cracking let's... oh my so bad at opening these all right we're gonna just use a knife probably easier Let's crack open this whole booster. I'm gonna skip through to, um, I'm gonna skip the commons and just go through the rare and uncommons. So let's start from there. 36 packs. We'll just move the box. More space. Pack number one. We have. Alright, legendary creature. Black Blade Reforged. And we have Board the Weather Lights. Cast Down. Oh, Cast Down's good. And Fiery Intervention. Black Blade Reforged is a legendary. Artifact, equipment, equip creature gets plus one plus one for each land you control, equip legendary creature for three, and equip for seven on a regular creature. And the Howlar, the Fire Fletcher, uh, 3 3 Trample, whenever it, you cast a spell with its kick, put a plus one plus one counter on it, and then it deals damage equal to the number of plus one plus one counters on it to each opponent. So this is a nice, powerful card for, um, for decks with a lot of kick kicked spells and creatures. There's a lot in uh, Dominaria, so I should have pretty good synergy there. Pack number two. We have... 2 Caption Paragon. 2-2 uh, two, two First Strike Vigilance Lifelink. An aura and equipment spells you cast cost one less to cast. Yeah, knights are just ridiculously powerful in this um, in this set. We have a common foil. Really, this foil looks nice. And our rare is Yogmoth's Vile Offering. So you can put one target creature or planeswalker card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Destroy up to one target creature or planeswalker. Exile Yogmoth Yogmoth's Vile Offering. That's our rare there. And then we have sell the score. Whoops, I put... Oh, fire, my bad. Fire intervention wasn't a uncommon, it was just a common. So we have sell the score and fungal plots as our uncommons here. Pack number three, still chasing that Karn or Mox Amber. It's pretty good, pretty good value in this, in this deck or in this uh, set. Sapling tokens, have a bajillion of those. Grun the Lonely King. Uh, kick kick up for three. If Grun the Lonely King was kicked, it enters five plus one plus one counters on it. Whenever it attacks alone, doubles power and toughness until the end of the turn. It's a five five. That is ridiculously strong. And Clifftop Retreat, nice. It's a it's a dual land with that comes into play tapped unless you control a mountain or plane and it adds for a mountain or plane. I love how the legendary creatures are so powerful here. Thorn Elemental, and we have Fire Fist Adept. Yeah, so much, so much firepower in this in this set. Already, pack number four. Got knights, got the swamp, and. Urgoros, the empty one, flying when it comes in when it deals combat damage to a player. That player discards a card at random. If that player can't, you draw a card. It's a four three, and our rare is Benelish Marshall. Other creatures you control gets plus one plus one. And it's a three three. It's a good card. Board the Weatherlight and Untamed Kavu. Yep. 
Yeah, like I said before, the night the night cards are so powerful in this deck. It's pretty ridiculous. Alright, another night. An island. Tayova Ben Ben yeah, Benthic Druid. Whenever a land enters your control, under the uh, when a land enters a battlefield near your control, you can gain one life and draw a card. And our rare is Dreadshade. Uh, for a swap, it gets plus one, plus one on the turn, turn, and it's a 3 3. It's a nice card to pump. And then our two uncommons. I've been collecting rat colonies. I'm going to make a rat standard. I think rats are going to be a, be a thing in standard. It's going to be great. You can have as many as you want in your deck. A sapling token, a mountain, Yargle, Glutton of Urborg. It's a 9-3 for 5 mana. Love you. Love Yargle. And we have Daring Ar Archaeologist. When Daring Archaeologist enters the battlefield, you may return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. Whenever you cast a historic spell, put a plus one plus one counter on Daring Archaeologist. And historics are artifacts, legendaries, or sagas. Seal away. Seal away is a good card. Memorial to Unity. All right. I try not to make this video too long, but there's so many, so many cards to go through. Maybe I'll just start. Rav caption ships mage. Maybe I'll just start. Uh, Joshu best lich knight. I'm just start going through, not reading all these. Hopefully those make the video go a lot faster. Unless we pull something legendary. Then we can read it. Harvard the Cursed. Sage of Latinam Foil. Alright. Thrawn Temporal Gateway is our legendary. Sorcerer's Wand, Memorial Folly. Nice. Land of War Elves are back. This card's so this card's so powerful. Mana ramp on the first turn. Or I guess second turn. Ah, I can't open these. Alright, let's rip them. We have Four Bears Blade and Tiana Ship Caretaker. Skizik. Skizik. No. Alright. We have uh, so many sapling tokens. Mishra Self Replicator and Shiana's Shana's Sis Sisay's Legacy. Meh. Reading's hard. Stay in school, boys and girls. Skidding, Skidding Surveyor, Tempest the Jin, Valduk, and then we got Urza's Tome and Shield Realm. Alright, still have not hit a Mythic yet. Let's go spin 12 packs. 12 packs? 12 packs. With no Mythics yet. Have Hazard Bombardment, Tiana Ship Caretaker, Flame of Keld. These sagas are. Sagas are cool. They're a cool mechanic. Wizard's Lightning. Alrighty, let's clean up the piles a little bit. Make it nice and neat. Alrighty, let's... Oh man, I hope this is a good box. I really hope it's a good box. Don't do me like this, wizard. Don't do me like this. Zuko. This card's gonna be great with uh with the rat, rat standard. Creatures power or toughness one less or less can't be blocked. Sulfur fall, nice dual land. Another flame of Keld, Chainer's torment. Alrighty. Dang, where are the mythics in this set? Should be what at least four, and I've pulled zero. This is ridiculous. Nice, Demon Lord, 
Bell is a knock. So it's a flying trample. When it enters the battlefield, exile the top. Or exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non land card. Then put that card into your hand. If the cards converted mana cost is four or greater, repeat that process and it deals one damage to you for each card you put in your hand this way. It's a nice card. Weight of Memory, Jorah's Familiar, and Cast Down. First, Mythic. The good thing about this set too is there's not really that much bulk mythics. Every mythic is like probably averages around, well, not averages, it's like around two dollars, I think. Even the cheapest ones are around over one dollar. The Yargmov, Lich's Mastery, Merkful Trickster. Oh man. Woodland Cemetery. Dang, this is just so many lands in this. So many dual lands here. Draws Familiar and Fungal Plots are the uncommons. Whoops, just dropping things left and right. Kazarov Sinir Pureblood for the legendary Sarah Angel, yeah, nice. They brought Sarah Angel back. 4-4 four, four Flying Vigilance. Come on. Let's get a good Planeswalker or something. Let's get a nice foil Planeswalker. That would be awesome. Valduk, Two-Headed Giant. Dang, I think we're halfway through the box with one mythic. This Come on, wizard. All the support I've shown you guys. That's what you do to me. Sapling tokens for days. Sylvan Awakening. Slime Foot. Another Sarah Angel. <clears throat> Come on, wizards. I believe. Nice. Mox Amber. Add one mana of any color among legendary creatures and planeswalkers you control. Nice. It's one of the uh, chase mythics or quote unquote chase mythics, but I still don't understand how this is truly a mox because it's not going to really provide you any turn one um, mana ramp. But still a great card to have. I'm sure someone will find a way to break it in, in modern or something. Squee. Squee the Immortal. Never dies. Tragic Poet. Nice. Okay. Marwin the Nurturer, Sink the Sue, Eldest Reborn, Skizik, another Skizik. Alright, let's go. 14 more packs. Oh, nice. History of Banalia. Saga, create a 2 2 White Knight token, creature token with vigilance, and then on the third, um, Third turn, uh, knights you control get plus two plus one until end of turn. This card is amazing, which makes the knights so powerful. Alright, alright wizard. That, pretty good. These are some clutch mythics right here. I'll uh, just hope for some... Let's get a Karn. Let's get a Karn. Garna the Blood Flame. Hinter Harbor. I think I have all, what, four? Four dual lands now? Four dual lands aren't bad. I'll take dual lands. All right, last 12 packs. Here we go. Another Tatvoya or Tatyova. Phyrexian Scriptures. All right, not, I mean, it's an all right. Mythic, I guess. Not no Karn. 
I'll put a plus one plus one counter on an up to one target creature. That creature becomes an artifact in addition to other types. Then you destroy all non artifact creatures and then you exile all cards from opponent graveyards. Knight of Malice, Goblin War Sheep, and. Alrighty. Maybe there'll be another mythic. Maybe. I have hope. We have Quinde Pride and the Mirari Conjecture, another Sarah Angel. All right, almost down to the last pack. Just a few more to go. Oh, the Sapling Token, I think I have like a hundred of those. Make a Sapling deck. Grand Warlord, Rada. Morphic Trickster, Shield of Realm, and Chainer's Torment. Press sort through these and look for all the all the rats. Dang, I haven't gotten damn thing spear yet. That's gonna be so good in Curator's Ward. It's gonna be so good in Modern, shutting down Tron decks. It's gonna clutch Rana. Steel League Champion, nice. Steel League Champion's a good card. Alrighty. Raf, Kamal's Drug Vow. Still no Damping Spear. Seven left. Shars Ancient Apostle. Another Sapling Token. Grow from the Ashes, Knight of Malice. Actually, this is not a legendary creature. All right. Yeah, Knights are so broken. Low cost. I think every most of them have Vigilance. Pretty crazy. Another Garna. Oh, Foil Mountain. Fall of Thrawn for a rare on Sarah's Wing. Oh yeah, this is a pretty broken uh, legendary enchantment. It's enchant creature, and enchanted creature gets is legendary, gets plus one plus one as flying, vigilance, and lifelink. Alright, down to the last five. Bard, Steward of Argive, and a Vernon Force for all those sapling tokens that we just got. 7-7 seven, seven, create at the beginning of each upkeep. 1-1 uh, one, one sapling token creature token. Come on, just one more mythic. Zahid, the Jinn of Lamps. Hangalum. Icy Manipulator. Yeah, that's they brought that back. Icy Manipulator. Tap down, basically tap down anything. Alright. Cleric, Plane, Whisper of Blood, Lur Liturgist, Goblin Chain Whirler. Nice. Way to Memory, Wizards of Tort. Dang, I, no damping sphere. All right, come on, maybe one more mythic. One more mythic. That's all I'm asking for. Is that too much to ask? Slin Voda, the Rising Deep. Precognition Field. Yeah. All right, last pack. Last pack here, we have an oh, emblem. Forest, another holler, clifftop retreat. All right, final partings, Sentinel, Pearl Tide. All right, I mean, all in all, pretty good. Uh, we got some pretty good mythics. We got a bunch of dual lands. Um, no damping sphere though for 
some odd reason, a whole box with zero of them. But um, yeah, I mean overall, Dominaire is pretty good. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fun fun set to play with. Definitely fun. Um, yeah. So until next time, uh, please subscribe or uh, like the video. And yeah, we'll see you next time.